Why, hello there. Hello. Hi. Hello. It's me. Do you like that? I'm still, I still can't grow a fucking mustache. Almost 30 years old. And my mustache, I, I, I still can't grow a grown man's mustache. It's so weird because the camera's facing this way. Usually it's facing the other way. But like behind you, there's actually a four foot tall man that uh, you can't see. He's behind the camera and uh, he's a... Uh, he just he 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 just will not leave. Um Yeah. That's that. A couple days ago, I released the first episode in the series called uh, Journey to Warhammer 40K. And I am very, very excited with uh, how, how well it's doing. Um, a lot of people seem to really enjoy the series. And just being able to hang out with the community and just like kind of bring the online community of Warhammer 40K, bring them all together is just, it's super, 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 super cool. Um, However, the, there, there, there seems to be a problem. The series is supposed to help people that uh, are interested in the hobby or that want to learn how to play the game. And I feel like uh, it might have it might have deterred some people away from the game because of uh, uh, the, 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 the big the big money, the big price point. So in this video, I wanted to help you guys and help you guys learn how to get into the 40K hobby as cheaply as humanly possible. You know, just like every tangible hobby that's out there, you know, your Gundams, your fucking, uh, fucking, uh, fucking Le League of Legends, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, fishing, golf, you know, they can all get pretty expensive. Um, when you dive into the hobby, but that doesn't mean that it can't be cheap. So coming from somebody who's fairly new to the hobby, I started around like uh, end of October, beginning of October, somewhere around there. These are all the ways that I found uh, getting into the hobby that you can cut corners and kind of just get into Warhammer 40K without it being too expensive. First and foremost, do not do what we did. Do not do what we did. I repeat, do not do it. Do not start off with the hobby at 2,000 points. It is a bad idea. It is the worst idea that you could possibly have when trying to play this fucking game. It, it is unheard of that you start off with just 2,000 points. It makes absolutely no sense. We did it because we just thought that it'd be it, it'd make for a good idea for a series. Um, but don't don't do it. And you'll see in the second episode why it's a bad idea. So just don't, don't do that. <laughs> Number one, biggest way that you can get into the hobby and start playing it uh, to even see if you like it, just to play test it, is to act, just, just get Tabletop Simulator. Game costs 20 bucks, Tabletop Simulator. Uh, it's one of my uh, favorite games. I use it all the time in order to play board games to people online uh, through like Discord or something. There's a bunch of mods that you can get for Tabletop Simulator where you can play 40K on there. So if you already have it, you can start playing 40K for free. Or if you don't have it, it's like 20 bucks and you can just start playing the game and try, you know, test it out to see if you even like it. That's 100% the cheapest way that you could possibly get into the Warhammer hobby. Three grown men spend $3,000 just to play the game on Tabletop Simulator. As a, as a quick thing, uh, the if you join the discord.gg forward slash magic carp use fly, the carp crew discord server. I'm actually starting a 1000 point league and a 2000 point league. If you want to learn how to play the game, that's a great way that the carp crew discord server in the Warhammer chat is a great way to learn how to play the game. There's a section in there called how to play 40k and we can teach you everything on like setting up tabletop simulator, all the stuff that you need in order to play it. It's a 2000 point and 1000 point league that you can play on tabletop tabletop simulator takes place over the course of like 10 weeks you play up to five games in a swiss bracket getting points and yeah it's it's a it's a great time so if you want to learn how to play 40k join the discord server and go into the warhammer chat and i can teach you fuck dude i'll play some fucking tabletop simulator with you uh, of 40k it's a great time i love it besides that let's get into the the the, the real ways that you can start uh saving some money and the first thing that we're going to talk about is books books knowledge words going into your brain Lo lots lots of lots of words books are fucking expensive in the video you know it costs like 165 dollars to get started with just you know the books so what we're gonna do is just say fuck it fuck the books you don't need the books you don't need them take all the books Toss them out the window. Is the fuck it? Fuck it. I'm gonna show you guys how to get all the information that you need to play 40k without the books. There's basically four things that you need when it comes to uh, the books. You need to know the core rules of how to play 
Am I in focus? Yeah, sure. You need the four rules on how to play. The four, the, or you need to know, you need you need the core rules to learn how to play. You need the, the different deployment and missions. That, that's what you get out of the books. You need uh, your codex. Th that's, that's another thing. That has all the information that you need for your armies. And you need... What did I write down? Detachments. You need to know the different detachments that you can make in the game. You can get all the books through PDF formats. Um, obviously, it is illegal. And I cannot point you to where to go for that information. Because that would get me in very big trouble. Because... It is illegal. There, there are ways that you can acquire them. I can't tell you where to get them. I can tell you the different alternatives they can use uh, so that you don't have to buy these books. First up, Battle Primer. The core rule but costs 40 bucks. Fuck that. We're getting rid of that. We're chopping that all the way down to zero. Boom, zero bucks. You go to gamesworkshop.com. Uh, if it doesn't load quickly, it's not your computer. It's because their website sucks dick. One billion dollar company. Can't afford to run a good website. So you're gonna go to the Games Workshop website and you're gonna type in Battle Primer. Now that will give you a free download to the PDF of the core rules. This will give you all the information that you need in order to play the game. It'll have all the different uh, phases of the game. You've got your movement phase, shooting phase, psychic phase, fucking uh, fight phase, charge phase, and morale phase, no, they're not in that order, but you have the, all those phases, and it'll tell you how to do every single one, it'll tell you how to read the data sheets, it'll tell you how, how wounds are applied, how to uh, make an attack, it'll tell you everything that you need in order to play the game right there. There you go, battle primer, boom, saved you 40 bucks. Next up, detachments. You're gonna wanna learn how to build detachments. Detachments is how you build an army. You need the core rule book, boom, again, $50, Slam, slash down to zero bucks. You're gonna go to a website called Wahapedia. Wahapedia is an amazing website. It has literally all the information that you need for the game. In fact, it even has the core rules on there as well. But what makes Wahapedia so great is that it's a database of all the stuff that you need. What you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the rules, you're gonna click on Battle Forged, and that will give you all the information that you need in order to make a detachment for this game. In order to build a list in Warhammer 40K is that you need to create a detachment. So then that way you're not being like, oh, I'm gonna run one orc model and a, a space marine model and a tyranid model. I'm gonna put them all into an army and I'm gonna fight. Is that That's not how it works. So what you do is that you create these detachments. These are all the detachments. Honestly, only worry about these two. Battalion and brigade, they are the most common detachments that people take. They're the easiest to make. And when you're first starting off, use just, just focus on these two images. That's all you need. That's all, that's it. Just focus on these two images. Take a screenshot of this and then there you go. So then you can have the detachment information in my face while you learn how to play a game. So the things that are in red are the stuff that are mandatory that you need to put into that detachment in order to make that detachment. On all the gray stuff is all optional. So if you wanna make a battalion, you need two HQ units, three troop units, and then you could just plug and play whatever the fuck else you wanna put in there. And that's pretty much it. All right, so you got core rules, done. Attachments, done. Next up, you need your codex. There are ways to get codexes uh, for free in a PDF format. Again, I cannot tell you because again, that is illegal. However, you can use Wahapedia. Wahapedia, if you just go to factions, you have all of the different factions in the game on the website and it has all the information. You got your FAQs, you've got all the different psychic powers you can use, all the factions you could run within that army um all the different other stuff that's inside the, your army that you can the, it's all there and on top of that if you go to the top section you can look at every single unit inside of that army and it's all right there all the data sheets that you need and then on top of that if you go to match play there's like you click a couple buttons and ba boom there you go you have all of the different missions and deployment maps that you can use in order to start playing the game right then and there. Those are literally all the books, all the information from the books that you need, all for free, zero dollars, 165, cut it down to zero. That's me, that's me helping you. You're welcome. Now, I am gonna warn you, it is an eyesore. It's gonna hurt your eyes because it's just a lot of text, but um, eh, you're saving money, so you know. Easy as that. Another great tool that you can use is Battlescribe. Battlescribe is a great app that you can use. Um, a lot of people uh, in the comment section, when in the video, they were saying, man, this guy doesn't know about Battlescribe. Even though I showed myself using it, 
like five different times. If you're like me, when you first see it, it's gonna look very intimidating, but it's really not that bad. All you gotta do is you gotta go to the website, battlescribe.net, or .com or dot whatever the fuck it is. You just select which army you want to run. You select which attachments you want to use, and then you just it's just a plug and play. And then if you press like the view selection option, you can also see what that unit does. You can add different weapons onto them, and it'll give you the points automatically on what what the different points are. So then when things come out like chapter approved, you usually have to wait like one or two days, and then it'll update all that information. And then if you get new books that are added onto your army, Battlescribe will have all that information and add it into your army as well. So that's another great way to get rid of all the chapter approved stuff so then you don't have to buy that either. So Battlescribe, very cool, very good program. That covers all of the books that you need. $165, boom, put that in your pocket, you're good to go. Let's talk about the models. Now you're gonna have to have some give and take here because models, you're gonna have to spend money. There's no getting around it, you're gonna have to spend money. You could get a 3D resin printer and print out all the models, but everything needs to be like the exact size because if it's not the exact size, there can be problems when you're playing. Also, it's gonna take a very long time to print all your models because there's a lot of models. If you wanna take the time, you can definitely do it. Uh, just be aware that you know, you won't be able to play in ITC tournaments. If anything, just, just, just get the models. But if you don't have a 3D printer, I still got ways that we can cut down on costs. A big way that you can uh, save money on this game and not buy uh, a bunch of models is to go onto Tabletop Simulator and test out models on there. It's a great, great, great tool that you can use to not only play the game and see if you wanna start playing it, it's also a great way for you to test out models before buying them. So again, Tabletop Simulator, another fantastic asset for uh, the hobby. Again, you don't wanna start off with 2,000 points. You wanna start off small. <laughs> Do not go big, start off small. A great way to start off with the game is to get this uh, the starter set for Kill Team. Kill Team is one of the best ways that you can start playing Warhammer. It costs about $160, but if you wanna play it with a friend, you can split costs with them right down the middle for 80 bucks, but it comes with so much stuff in order for you to start playing. So 40K is like this huge army that you're controlling, all right? You're controlling this entire army with people who are melee attackers, a unit of people who are shooting, a unit of people who know psychic abilities. Kill team is literally just taking one of those units and that's your army. So it's mostly just skirmishing with infantry units with one infantry unit versus another infantry unit. And that's kill team. Not only do you get an infantry unit of space marines, an infantry unit of Tau, you also get terrain, which you would have to have bought separately if you wanted to play at home. You get the data sheets for every character that you can play. You get the core rules for the game, and you also get a board to play on. All of that for $160 is probably the biggest bang for your buck that you could possibly get in this game. And then you could take the infantry units that you have of space marines and the infantry unit that you have of Tau, and you can transition that into 40K. The only problem is that it only comes with Space Marines and Tau in the starter set. So if you don't want to build an army of Space Marines and Tau, then it's probably not a good idea to get the game. You can also get the Dark Imperium collection that costs about $160, but the value of the box is like over $600. So splitting it for $80, you're getting around $300 worth of models. And that comes with the core rule book, a bunch of Space Marines, and a bunch of Death Guard. And if that's still too much, you can get the uh, the No No Fear starter set that costs 80. You won't get as much as the Dark Imperium collection, but splitting it with a friend is only $40. The cool thing about 40K is that you don't have to play at 2,000 points. You don't have to play at 1,000 points. You don't have to play at 500 points. Bro, you can play at 250 points. You can play at 50 points if you fucking wanted to. It doesn't matter. The, the game, as long as you and your opponent agree with how many points you wanna play, that's how many points you wanna play. If you wanna buy an infantry box and then another person buys an infantry box and you play with just that infantry squad, that's it, That that's the game. That's how much you play with. So a great way to start is to get a start collecting box from Games Workshop. Now, every single army gets a start collecting box. Some of the boxes are really, really good if you wanna get competitive. Some of them aren't that great, but if you don't care about being competitive and you just wanna start out and you just wanna play the game, you can get literally any box and you'll be totally fine. And the box, it'll come with 
with like an HQ unit, some infantry, maybe some elites, maybe a heavy support, but it'll have everything that you need in order to get up to a uh, 500 points. So then you can play a 500 point army. And the start collecting boxes usually cost about like anywhere from $80 all the way up to like uh, 190, 160. That's the best thing that you're gonna get in order to start playing the game is to use those boxes. If you get a model and you're like, oh, I don't know if I want this, I kind of want this instead, you can always proxy those models. Honestly, you could go into a game and be like, hey, th th this can of Mountain Dew, this is a Riptide. As long as your opponent is like, yeah, that's a Riptide, it's a riptide and this next way i know it makes it no i know it makes me sound like a boomer i can feel myself boomerizing at this point ebay.com i know is like what is this website what do you mean no next day delivery how do i use this in order to get in order to subscribe to somebody on with using uh, twitch prime how does this work ebay is a great way for you to purchase armies in the game in fact, I recently just found six models of Tyranid Warriors for like 26 bucks. That's a fucking steal. That's amazing. That's a great discount. Some people will sell their entire army on eBay and you can buy it for like dirt cheap, especially if you don't mind them being already painted. So you can go on eBay, find an already painted model, buy that and put that into your army and you're totally fine. You're, you're, you're free to go. You might have like a rainbow assortment of, of, of characters, but boom, there you go. You got your models at least. That's a great way for you to get into the hobby and for you to get really, really cheap units. There's also a bunch of websites out there that sell models at like discounts at like 10% discounts, 20% discounts. If you go to like your local game store, uh, usually they'll have a 10% discount if you're military. Sometimes they'll have sales that you can get where things will be like 25% off. Those are all awesome ways. You just have to go out there and you have to go find them. And then honestly, right there, you can just stop and you're totally fine. You don't even have to paint the models unless like it's a requirement inside your, like your local game store that for their league. But usually you're totally fine playing with unpainted models and that's all you need in order to start playing the game. Most people in the hobby are really, really nice. And so you can play against them and say, and you know, if, if they know that you're a new player, you know, you could play with your unpainted models with them. So there you go. That's it. That's literally all you need in order to start playing. But when it comes to painting, I got you. I got you covered. It's fine. I can still save you money on painting. All you need to paint some couple brushes, plastic cup, fill it with water and a wet palette. That's literally all you need. Oh, and some primer. Some, pr some spray primer. For brushes, if you just go to like your local Walmart, you can buy a variety pack of brushes. A lot of people in the hobby use those paint brushes. You don't need to get an airbrush. You don't need to get like an air compressor. Just get those paint, just get a variety paint set at Walmart. Um, get a plastic cup, fill it with water, and uh, get a wet palette. A wet palette, literally all you need. Tupperware, paper towel, parchment paper, and that's it. There you go, there's your wet palette. Dip, put your paints on there, put, do the brush thing, and then just get Bob Ross and all over your all over your models. Citadel sells primer. It costs like ten bucks. Don't buy that. Fuck that. Go on to Amazon, get some Krylon spray paint, and then just prime your models that way. It's just a spray can. Spray it when it's not cold outside onto your models. There you go. Four bucks. That's all you need for your primer. Don't buy the Citadel ones. Don't buy the Army Painter ones. They cost like 10 bucks. Literally all you need is just those. That That's the dirt cheapest primers that, that you can get. Vallejo Starter Set paint is really, really good. It costs like about 45 bucks and you get like a huge array of paints that you can use. Uh, I really like Vallejo because it comes in dropper bottles and not in the Citadel paint buckets. I hate the Citadel paint buckets. Love Citadel paints, but their paint buckets are fucking awful. It's a bad design, especially when you're using a wet palette and you wanna use a wet palette. Uh, because wet palettes make it really, really easy for you to thin your paints because you want to thin your paints. It's a great way for you to mix your paints and it helps keep your paints fresh. So then you can paint something, wait like a day or two, and then your paint on that palette is still fine. So you just start painting and there you go. That's that. As as far as I know, uh, yeah. So yeah, there you go. Uh, you're welcome. That's all you need. So going over everything, at most you're spending maybe... 100 to 200 dollars in order to get into the hobby as cheaply as possible maybe 80 bucks um if you're not buying any paints like that that's the cheapest that you can possibly get into the hobby and then right there you can decide whether or not you want to keep going with the hobby or not and honestly like once you get your first model and you start building it and then you paint it you're gonna feel super super attached 
to those models because it's something that you've done. It's something that you've painted. It's something that you can play with. And uh, it, j it just feels, it feels great. That's the video. Those are all the cheap ways that I found that you can start on the hobby. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Press the subscribe button. Uh, the next episode of uh, Journey to Warhammer should be coming out fairly soon. Uh, I have it set up so then I release an episode every month. If you're like a veteran and you have more information on how to save money starting off in 40K, leave it in a comment so then everyone else can see it and then everyone else can read it and understand uh, what are good ways that you can save money with the hobby. And any websites that I know of, I'll link it in the description to help everybody out. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you wanna learn how to play the game, Join the Carp Crew Discord server, discord.gg forward slash magic carp, use fly. Um, and you know, a lot of people are in there and they're all helping each other out in order to learn how to play the game. Join the league, uh, start off with like a 500 point game, start off with a 1000 point game, whatever you want. There you go. Those are all the things that I can do in order to help you uh, learn how to play. And yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you leave a thumbs up, make sure that you press the subscribe button. Leave a comment to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you have some friends that wanna uh, get into the hobby, uh, go ahead and send them this video so then you can uh, help them out. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, There you go. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Uh, buh, buh. Squeeze.